Yoink, an easier way to move files around on your Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. You see this little thing that pops up on the right side of my screen when I drag this file? That is Yoink. That is the Yoink holding area window. And basically what this allows you to do is to place files in this little window and they are accessible from anywhere on your Mac, including in full screen apps. So that's pretty cool. So I can actually take this file from the Yoink holding area and put it down into Final Cut Pro's timeline just like that. Pretty convenient when you think about it, right? But it goes beyond just managing a single file. You can actually take multiple files and put them in the Yoink holding area. So I'm going to do that right now with these three files. And you see, they basically create a stack of files. So anywhere that I move this stack, all the files will be moved simultaneously. So I'm just going to drag this over to my finder window and you can see all three of the files are moved into the folder. And then I just move them back to the desktop. But what if you change your mind and you no longer want to use the files that you drag into the Yoink interface? Well, let me show you what to do then. So I'm gonna drag all three of these files over, just like this, and now you see them there. But what if I wanna get rid of them? Well, I just click the little sweep icon and that gets rid of them. But what if I wanna break apart the stack and act on individual files? Well, I just hit this little break apart icon and then the stack breaks apart and now I can act on these individual files within the Yoink holding area. So that's pretty handy. What if you want to make sure a file doesn't leave the holding area? Well, just click the little lock icon and now you can see that the file actually stays within the holding area even when I try to move it out. And of course you can unlock and there's also Quick Look, which gives you a nice Quick Look preview, and then the X predictably gets rid of the file itself. Now within the Yoink interface, you can access preferences like window position, so you can change where the Yoink interface is displayed when you start to drag an item. So I chose the right top of the screen, so you can see it went up to the top of the screen. Generally speaking, I think it's a good idea to keep it out of the way, away from the dock at least, but it's gonna be up to you how you decide to do that. You can also change window size if you wish, and there's additional preferences by going into preferences. And under general, you definitely want the launch Yoink at login selected. Under behavior, you won't automatically show when drag starts because that's what allows the Yoink interface to appear when you start to drag files around on your desktop. You can also ignore specific applications and move the window to the mouse location when the drag is initiated. And there's also a keyboard shortcut as well. Let me show you this move, this move to location option in action. So I'm just gonna drag this file and you see how the Yoink interface appears right next to where I start to drag. That is that little option we checked in the preferences earlier. And lastly, there's the keyboard shortcut option. So if you'd like to use that instead, you can just like this. I just press the F5 key on my keyboard and that it calls the Yoink interface to appear. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Yoink super handy super handy tool that I use pretty much every day on my Mac, especially nice when you interface with full screen apps because your Yoink interface appears right on top of the full screen app so you can quickly drag files uh, between apps, between finder windows, however you wanna do it. You can usually do it with Yoink. This is available on the Mac App Store. It is $6.99, but look at the star ratings there, folks. It speaks for itself. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.